Hello everyone. Today I'll be talking about genomic imprinting. Let me start with what genomic imprinting is. Well, I can define genomic imprinting as the physiological silencing of a gene or genes based on the parental origin. What does this mean? Well, depending on the origin of the chromosome on which the gene present, whether paternal or maternal, it is physiologically silenced. Mind you, physiological. So when I say that a gene is imprinted, what does it mean? An imprinted gene means that one, it is silence and two, it's non-functional. That is, though the gene is present on the chromosome, it does not code for any protein. Where do we find such imprinted genes? Chromosome 15, 11 and 7 are the house of the imprinted genes. Let me explain you with an example. Consider two chromosomes. One from the father, the paternal chromosome P, and one from the mother, the maternal chromosome M. Now take two genes, gene A and gene B in both the chromosomes. What if I say that the gene A is physiologically silenced in the father's chromosome and gene B is physiologically silenced in the chromosome coming from the mother? That means the gene A is present on both the chromosomes but does not code for any protein in the father's uh, origin chromosome. That is, it is paternally imprinted. Similarly, I can say that B, since does not produce proteins in the maternal chromosome, is maternally imprinted. That means, if there is a deletion of a gene, will it always lead to deficiency of the protein? The answer is no. Deletion of a gene can be seen under two scenarios. One, if the imprinted gene is deleted, it was anyway not coding for any protein physiologically, so its deletion also will not lead to deficiency of any protein. But what if the chromosome that is deleted has a functional gene? Well, it was coding for a protein, so its absence will obviously lead to deficiency. I hope it's clear. Now let's move on to certain diseases. One disease associated with genomic imprinting abnormality is the prader willi syndrome. Let us understand it with the causes. In prader willi syndrome, there is a defect in genes in which maternal imprinting is common. So the gene is normally maternally imprinted. And there are defects in the paternal or maternal chromosome like this. What if there is paternal deletion of maternally imprinted gene? That is, the gene was normally imprinted from the maternal chromosome. What if even the paternal chromosome is deleted? So there will be only one imprinted gene and it will be not coding for any protein as such. So it will lead to deficiency of the protein. Or there is also a chance that the maternal chromosome undergoes disomy instead of getting a father's chromosome. It will again give rise to two imprinted genes which will lead to deficiency of the protein. Third, there is no deletion this time, neither disomy, but there is imprinting in both the chromosomes. It was anyhow supposed to be imprinted on maternally, maternal gene, whereas even the father's chromosome has the imprinting gene. It will again give rise to two imprinted genes and thus no protein. 
So these were the causes of Prader-Willi syndrome. Paternal deletion, maternal disomy, and paternal imprinting. Mind you, these two are different. You cannot call them the same. Here there is deletion of that gene. Whereas here the gene is present, but it has made non-functional pathologically. The patients in this condition present with one obesity and they have an increasing risk of type 2 diabetes mellitus. Let me explain with the pedigree. Let the father have the disease and the mother be normal. So, when we plot the pedigree, what are the chances? There are 50% chances of the child having the disease. Let me remind you that Prader-Willi syndrome is inherited not as a dominant disease. The inheritance is a, like a recessive disease. Autosomal, recessive kind of inheritance. So according to that, two offsprings will have the disease out of four. Now what if these have offsprings with a normal partner well here the father has the disease so similar to the above situation 50% chance of the offspring having the disease but what will there be in this case Well, in this case, none of the child will be having the disease because the disease uh, chromosome was anyhow supposed to have maternally imprinted gene as normal. Here, there is maternal gene imprinted either physiologically or pathologically, but the paternal gene is normal. So, this will give rise to normal offsprings, that is 0% chance of disease. But, mind you, they will still be carriers so there will be there will be 50% chance of carrier whereas here the risk of disease is itself 50% this is Prader-Willi syndrome now there's another disease Angelman which is exactly the opposite of Prader-Willi syndrome when I say exactly opposite it is exactly the opposite what do I mean? Just replace the paternal in the causes with maternal and vice versa. And the causes will be clear. So like if there, there was paternal deletion of maternally imprinted gene, here the paternal gene is imprinted physiologically. And there will be problems in maternal chromosome or disomy. So here you will find maternal deletion of paternally imprinted gene. Second, there can be paternal disomy. Third, there can be maternal imprinting of the paternally imprinted gene. And the pedigree will be exactly the opposite. That is, if the father has the disease, there will be 0% chance of disease. But 50% sorry, but there will be 50% chance of carrier. And if the mother has the disease, then there will be 50% chance of disease. This was about genomic imprinting and its clinical significance.